Well, as you can see by the title, today we are doing our Sunday deep clean. It's always nice to start the week with a clean house, so I like to deep clean the entire house on Sundays. So I thought I would share with you guys what I do and um, film the process as I go. Um, Cole usually helps me with part of the stuff and we like share it, but this time, just for the sake of the video, we only have one camera, so I'm going to be doing it myself. I usually always start with the floor because I it's when Noah is napping is the only time I can do the mopping part of the floor. Otherwise, he will slip and fall and hurt himself. So that is what I'm going to start with. I'm just going to prop the camera up in different parts of the house and kind of just like walk you guys through what I do. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. So I always start by pulling the couch away from the wall and I always find tons and tons of goodies under here. Um, Noah just kind of likes to throw his toys around and his food and everything ends up underneath of the couch. So I start by sweeping underneath of here first. Um, I did this first this time because Cole wanted to obviously be able to sit on the couch so I got this portion done first. Or at least I try to be. I did want to mention that Paul normally helps me with the cleaning. He will take some of the tasks. That's my daughter in the background. He will take some of the tasks and I will take the others. Um, but for the sake of this video, we only have one camera, so I am doing it myself this time. He is sitting on the couch in this video and I just wanted everyone to know that he's not sitting there being unhelpful because he's um, not helpful or anything. He just, I didn't need his help this time. So that is why he isn't doing anything this time. So he's not just being a lazy dad. Um, both the kids were asleep anyways, so it was not an issue to me. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy Once I am done the sweeping portion of the floor, I then move on to mopping. So here I am filling up the mop bucket using Murphy. I haven't always used this my entire life, but this is what they had in stock when we went shopping for cleaning supplies. So this is what I used this time. The mop that we have is super neat. So there is a separate water reservoir for the clean water. And then underneath of that is where the dirty water ends up going. So you're not um, mixing the dirty with the clean. I always start with the living room first just in case my son wakes up then at least he can come in here and play and not slip and fall because hopefully by that point the floor will be dried and then once I am done doing the living room I will go ahead and go into the hallway because even if he wakes up he only has to be in here for a little tiny portion of that and Cole or I will just take him out of his crib and bring him into the living room anyways. So that is why I start with the living room. Otherwise, I'd probably do it the other way around. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like a... And now that I'm done with the floor completely, other than the bathroom, I'm actually going to go ahead and clean the bathroom first before I mop it. So I go ahead and take my handy dandy cleaning caddy. And um, the bathroom wasn't actually terrible this week. I actually ended up cleaning, um, I think on Tuesday this week. 
just because we never ended up getting it done the last Sunday. We just had a lot going on. So it was gross, but it wasn't as terrible as you um, would think. Another time, another place, I just know. Mm -hmm. It could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. So I started by taking the bath mats and just throwing them into the washing machine. They needed to be cleaned, so I started by doing that and just kind of picked up what was on the floor. And then I always start by putting everything from the counter onto either the shelf that we have above the toilet or on top of the toilet if there's not enough space on that little tiny shelf. And then I will go ahead and... Um, wash out the soap dish because it's always really gross and I actually do this a lot more often than just on Sundays but I thought I would uh, include that in this video as well and then I'll put that up. Once I'm done taking everything off the counter I always start with cleaning the mirror first. It's the cleanest spot in the bathroom so I like to start with the cleaner stuff first. I then move on to the counter and the sink. I use just an all-purpose cleaner for this. Um, at the moment I'm using Method, it was like almost completely out. So if you guys have any suggestions for cleaners, let me know. I like to try new ones all the time. So <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know. I also forgot to mention I use microfiber cloths to clean basically everything. I love them. I hate the feeling of them. I think they're disgusting, but they work really well to clean everything. The mirror just looks le way less streaky than with anything else I've tried, and they just work great. And then also we can obviously rewash them rather than using paper towel. Just seems like a huge waste. The only thing that I use paper towel for is cleaning the toilet because I find that kind of gross. Shut the lights go in front. I then move on to the toilet which I also use an all-purpose cleaner for just the outside of it um, wipe it all down with some paper towel and then I also wipe like the inside of the lid and the toilet seat just to make sure that's all clean and then I will go ahead and clean the inside of the toilet using toilet bowl cleaner. I have switched it up a few times. Right now we're using the Lysol. I don't think they had anything in stock. When we went shopping last time, the shop was located right there, so uh, we grabbed what we could and this is what we are using at the moment. The toilet is now all clean and next we are moving into the shower and the bathtub. So I start by taking down all of the 
bath toys. If you hear a little squeal next to me throughout this, that is my daughter. She is helping me while I do this voiceover. So once I take everything off, I spray everything down with a uh, multi-purpose cleaner as well. This one is Myers. I it's full and I could have used it for everything else, but I don't love the smell of it. It's very strong. But I didn't have a choice at this point because my method one had um, ran out. So I spray down all the faucets, the walls, the bathtub, and then I wipe it all down and make sure everything is nice and clean for the week. Our two kids take a bath in this bath every night, so we have to make sure that it is nice and clean for them. I then just take the shower head and just kind of spray down all the walls and the bathtub and just make sure there's no extra cleaning product left on it or anything and make sure the bathtub isn't slippery. Okay, now that the bathroom is all nice and clean, I always like to fill up my essential oil diffuser just to make it smell all nice and fresh and clean in there. And so today I'm using lavender as a scent. I find it very nice and calming. And now it's time to do the windows. So I start with the living room window and then moved on to the door window. Um, I didn't honestly film any of the other windows. I just decided to film a few of them just to kind of show you guys what I do. Um, I also wanted to mention we live in a basement suite so there's not like a lot of ground to cover but I still wanted to share with you my cleaning routine. And then I just go ahead and dust anything and everything that I can find that needs to be dusted. Um, I would prefer to do this before I do the floors, but like I said, I have to do the floors first. Usually I start the cleaning process once my son goes down for a nap, and so I have to do the floors first so that he doesn't slip and fall. Otherwise, I would 100% do like the windows and the dusting and everything like that first, just in case of anything that's going on to the floors. I will then clean up once I mop and everything but this is the way that it has to be done right now because I have children I then went ahead and cleaned out our microwave this does not need to be done every single Sunday I do the outside more often than once a week but the inside doesn't need to be done that much we honestly don't use it very much um, other than for warming up my tea usually it's what I use it for and then once in a while like a microwave meal for Noah but honestly not often as you can see though it's really disgusting um, this is the first time we had cleaned it in a while so it was kind of gross but like I said it doesn't get like this very often so it's not like a 
bunch of days built up. It's probably honestly from like one meal being put in here, like spaghetti or something like that. So it was really, really gross this time, but I don't do this every single Sunday. In the Now, this is not something that maybe people think about all the time, but I kind of notice it every time I'm sweeping, and that is cleaning the baseboards. So I just take a magic eraser, get it wet, and um, just wipe the edges and the baseboards because every time I sweep or mop, I just notice they look so gross, so I like to have them clean and this is also something that doesn't need to be done every Sunday it doesn't get gross very quickly but it does build up once in a while and just I just like to clean it to make it look a little bit nicer and honestly I'm probably the only one who notices this Cole doesn't even see it and the kids are little so this is more for me but I just like to have them nice and clean Last but not least, I will go ahead and take a multi-purpose cleaner and just spray and wipe the fridge, the fridge handle, um, all the cupboards, everything in the kitchen that needs to be wiped down. Our son likes to throw food around all the time, so there's always something on the cupboards <laughs> and the fridge. So I am, again, using a microfiber cloth for this. I, like I said, use microfiber cloths for cleaning literally everything other than like gross things like the toilet and stuff so they just work really really well but once I'm done cleaning the cupboards and everything that is basically all I clean um, I'm sure there's more that I could do and go in depth with but with two children and Sundays are usually quite busy for us um, this is just the main stuff that I do and then there's of course laundry and stuff like that but I usually include that stuff in our vlogs so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you can see that kind of content if that's what you're interested in I will definitely be doing more cleaning videos to come in the future I love cleaning it's something that's very therapeutic to me I don't know why it just is but that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me clean. I hope it motivated you. Oh yeah, I also did the dishwasher as well. Um, I hope it motivated you to clean on Sunday. Maybe you'll start doing it. I find it just so nice to start the week with a clean house. Um, honestly, Cole could care less. He doesn't. It doesn't bother him as much, but this is just something that I like to do. And I just started doing it every Sunday. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye.